So we're joined now by head tennis coach Chase Hodges. Coach, uh, big win today on the women's side, 8-1 uh, victory for right. them. Uh, emotional day two as well, because I can only imagine for somebody like Luma Schwab, Victoria Svensson, that's known Adam Jackson for so long, mm -hmm. to see him as an opponent today. Right, right. What was the emotion like for the women going into the day? Yeah, I think they, you know, I think I saw a few tears out there today. I think the girls uh, came out and fought hard. I think it kind of hit them hard that, you know, their their careers are over, um, you know, in terms of playing here at GGC and not having that opportunity to play again uh, on their home courts. But, um, you know, on the court, you know, we performed well. Um, you know, the girls stepped out, competed hard, gave it 110 percent. And, uh, you know, doubles really set the tone. We were able to get all three of those and get off to a 3-0 lead. And um, it kind of carried over into single today what's the difference for the women when they get another one point is the answer but yeah uh, there's a huge difference especially on the women's side from being up 2-1 and versus 3-0 after doubles because it's almost it's it's a wrap after 3-0 you're not going to lose half more than half of the singles matches going forward into the postseason is that something you can strategize for to say i'd much rather yeah. be up 3-0 than 2-1 but 2-1 i feel like there's still a ball game yeah i mean if we go up 3-0 virtually the match is over especially when you have somebody like val at the number one spot she's always winning her point um all the way down uh you know we have opportunities to win at, at every position kiara de salvo has been playing extremely well she's always i think was she the first one off yeah, today yeah super she, quick yeah she normally wins very very quick and gets us that point um and has been performing extremely well well all year for us and uh, really all the way through our lineup all, all the ladies that are playing are getting it done so uh, we just got to continue it and you know we got to continue it into uh, May. Yeah, 12 and uh, 2 now for yeah. women's tennis. They're going to take on Emory. Yeah. Uh, here, here, wrap up the month of, uh, I guess they start that in, in May sure. before they go into the postseason. So, sure. uh, trying to hit their stride, and they've played pretty well over the last couple of weeks. Let's turn the page over to the men's side yeah. here. Um, replace isn't the word, but you see Tony Licata, Luke Moreland, and Matias Hayden. Has a thought crossed your mind? I know you still got a month left of the season sure. left, including sure. the national, going through the national championship, but. They're not going to be here next year. How do you plan for that, and do you, do you try to recruit their replacement? Man, it's going to be tough. Those guys uh, mean a lot to the program, and, um, you know, we're really going to miss all those guys just like the ladies. Um, so we're going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to recruit hard. Uh, that's what this game is all about. Recruiting is the, the lifeline of your program, and if you don't recruit well, you won't be successful. And uh, we've been very fortunate to have very good uh, recruiting classes come in here, and uh, you know, they're no exception. And Matias uh, plays with a lot of heart and energy. And, uh, you know, to see him go as well as Luke, and Tony uh, it's always difficult um, but we'll uh you know, we'll have to move forward. And then how cool is it, or maybe whose idea was it, if you want to take credit, that's fine with me, to kind of uh, pair up some of the buddies in, in doubles play. Yeah, we rolled the dice with that. <laughs> I, I, I honestly uh, – I'm, I'm gonna give credit to the guys okay. uh, no I, totally not my decision sure. I went with their uh, you know I'm a players coach always have been and you know I think players are always willing to tell me you know their feelings or what they think and uh, a couple of the guys you know uh, mentioned letting all three seniors play doubles and we threw out with the exception of our number one doubles team we threw out two brand new teams at uh, two and three Kevin and Tony at three have never played together Wow and Jordan and Luke have never played this year year together um so it, it worked out so it worked, worked out. out so if it wouldn't have worked out i'd be blaming <laughs> them but since it did work out i'll give them credit uh and then we got that 3-0 lead and then obviously we were able to pull some guys out and uh you know it was nice to see uh tony get a victory yep um it was nice to see uh, jorge uh continue to win for us and it was nice to see um you know all the guys uh you put g lot up at two mm -hmm. and he played well Mm -hmm. So it, it was a good win. It was a good all, all over uh, one to six. All the guys are looking very, very solid right now.